A scout's camp is being held in a remote site over 12 days of a school holidays. The organizers have catered for 80 scouts. 96 scouts turn up. If they keep the daily allowance for each scout the same as originally planned, after how many days will they run out of the food? Okay. So, yeah. Again, this is a problem of inverse proportion. So, yeah, let me write. So, days and scouts okay, or number of scouts number of scouts so as planned what they're saying is if this was planned for 12 days camp and there was enough food for 80 scouts now there are 96 scouts scouts turn up this answer should be something less than 12 Okay, so this so one thing you should understand logically as more scouts come, the food will run out quicker. So this would be this is less than 10. Okay, less than 10, less than 12. Sorry, less than 12 days. So let me uh, explain one very interesting relationship in inverse proportion. I've done this in a previous video, but I would do it again. So let me write days and uh, scouts s for scouts number of scouts and d for number of days so the information that we have is for 12 days you have got enough food for 80 scouts okay so if suppose you have suppose let us imagine suppose you've got only 40 turn up you could have run the camp for how many days so this is becoming half so this is becoming half so you're dividing by two so if, if you got half of the scouts and we're also imagining here yeah, we're assuming that each scout uses the same amount of uh, the ration is the same or the amount uh, the proportion or the amount of food that is uh, given to each scout is the same so logically you can understand if this is becoming half you will have 20 you can use the food for 24 days so what's happening here so this is times by two so if this is and that's why it's called an inverse proportion this is divided by two if this is becoming half this will become double okay okay so if suppose again less than that suppose if there are only 20 turning up so this is uh, say divide by two again so this can be run for how many days so double of 24 is 48 okay so now if suppose this is say you got 60 of them you got 60 of them so this is times by 3 this is times 3 so what would you do the, you will increase in the same proportion but in the reverse order so this is divided by 3 so 48 divided by 3 is 16 so 16 days now one interesting fact that you can see if you see the numbers together so let's multiply days this quantity number of days times number of scouts so can you see this is 12 times 80 12 times 8 is 96 if you know the nines this is 960 this is 24 times 40 what is 24 times 40 that is also 960 okay 48 times 20 48 times 20 is also 960 and 16 times 60 okay that's also 960 so this is a very interesting fact the product if it's an inverse proportion the product of the quantities would be one constant number okay so let's now deal with the question <coughs> you got days and uh, scouts so you got 12 days for 80 scouts uh, you got food for 80 scouts so the question is we want to go to 96 it's difficult from 80 to 96 so let me make this eight days so eight scouts if only eight scout turn up this is what's happening from 80 to 8 what should you do well that is divided by 10 so as we saw previously if this is this is becoming one tenth this is going to be 10 times bigger so this is times 10 so you can if you've got only eight scouts you can do you can use the food for 120 days now from 8 you can go to 96 8 times something is 96 so if you're good in times table 
you can understand 8 times 12 is 96. So this is becoming 12 times bigger. So this will become 12 times smaller. Or you divide by 12. Uh, so that is 10 days. So the answer is, if you've got 96 scouts in the camp who turn up, you got food for enough food for 10 days, which is what we uh, thought initially. This has to be less than 12, and it does make sense that if you got 96 scouts, you need 10 days.